people throw the phrase million dollar question around all the time. For example, where's my stapler? That's the million dollar question. However, solving these problems does not usually result in a million dollars. For example, I found my stapler. Good for you. Do I get a million dollars? No. Fortunately, there are questions that someone will give you a million dollars for solving. One of these questions is the Riemann hypothesis. Hello, this is Sean from DeRosa Education Research. I'm going to explain what the Riemann hypothesis says in under two minutes, starting now. At some point, mathematicians got annoyed that you can't take the square root of negative numbers. So they invented a number called i for imaginary and defined i squared to be negative 1. Then they added real multiples of i with regular real numbers and created the complex numbers. Then because calculus is so much fun, they decided to do calculus on complex numbers and created complex analysis. In analysis, you play with functions, and while doing complex analysis, mathematicians encountered or created a special function called the Riemann zeta function. It is initially defined by the following series. This series only converges on part of the complex plane. However, there is a method to extend its definition to the rest of the complex plane using analytic continuation. When extended, the function has a value 0 at the negative even integers. These zeros are boring and are called the trivial zeros. There are also other zeros that are not boring. These zeros are located in the critical strip, where the critical strip is a set of complex numbers with a real part between 0 and 1. The Riemann hypothesis then states all the zeros of this function in the critical strip have a real part equal to a half. 